These be the commandments, ceremonies, and dooms, which your Lord God commanded that I should teach you, and that ye do them in the land to which ye pass over to wield, that thou dread thy Lord God, and keep all his commandments, and behest which I command to thee, and to thy sons, and to the sons of thy sons, in all the days of thy life, that thy days be lengthened. Thou, Israel, hear and keep, that thou do these things which the Lord commanded to thee, and that it be well to thee, and thou be multiplied more, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised to give to thee a lamb flowing with milk and honey. Thou, O Israel, hear, thy Lord God is one God. Thou shalt love thy Lord God of all thine heart, and of all thy soul, and of all thy strength. And these words which I command to thee today shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt tell those to thy sons, and thou shalt think upon them, sitting in thine house, and going in the way, lying down and rising. And thou shalt bind those as a sign in thine hand, and those shall be, and shall be moved before thine eyes. And thou shalt write them in the, in the window, and in the doorpost of thine house. And when the Lord God hath brought thee into the land, for which he swore to thy fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he hath given to thee great cities, and best which thou buildest not, houses full of all riches, which thou madest not, and cisterns, which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive places, which thou plantest not. And when thou hast eaten and art fulfilled, beware diligently, lest thou forget the Lord and, the, and that led thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of servage. Thou shalt dread thy Lord God, and thou shalt serve him alone, and thou shalt swear by his name. Ye shall not go after alien gods, of all heathen men that be in your compass or be about you. For God is a fervent lover. Thy Lord God is in the midst of thee. Lest any time the strong vengeance of the fierceness of thy Lord God be wroth against thee, and do away thee from the face of the earth. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord, thy Lord God, as thou temptest him in the place of tempting. Keep thou the commandments of thy Lord God, and the witnessings and ceremonies which he hath commanded to thee. And do thou that that is pleasing and God good in the sight of the Lord, that it be well to thee, and that thou enter and wield the best land of which the Lord swore to thy fathers, that he should do away all thine enemies before thee, as he hath spoken. And when thy son shall ask thee tomorrow, that is, in time of coming, and shall say, What will or mean these witnessings and ceremonies and dooms to themselves, which our Lord God commanded to us? Thou shalt say to him, We were Pharaoh's servants in Egypt, and the Lord led us out of Egypt in a strong hand, and he did miracles and great wonders, and worst, that is, most painful vengeances in Egypt against Pharaoh and all his house in our sight. And he led us out thereof, that he should give to us let that he should give to us lead in the land of which he swore to our fathers. And the Lord commanded to us that we do all these lawful things and dread our Lord God that it be well to us in all the days of our life as it is today and he shall be merciful to us if we shall do and keep all the behest before our Lord God as he commanded to us